Okay, section 9.2, question 23 asks, what is the volume of one mole of hydrogen gas at STP? So remember that STP is standard temperature and pressure. And the standard temperature is 273K, or zero degrees Celsius. And the standard pressure is one atmosphere. So um, for the ideal gas law, we need to know the pressure, the volume, um, the moles of gas, and the temperature, or at least three of those four. So we don't know what the volume is, but we do know what the moles are because we are asked to calculate the volume of one mole. And R, the ideal gas law constant, always has the same value unless we change the units, but in this chapter, we almost always have the same units. Liter, atmosphere, over mole, Kelvin. So th these are the pieces that we need to plug into the ideal gas law, and then we're going to solve for V. So my ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, and if I'm going to rearrange for V, then I have to divide both sides by P. V equals NRT over P. So N is 1 mole. R is 0 0.082 liter atmosphere per mole K. The temperature is 273 Kelvin. And the pressure is one atmosphere. So before we start plugging all these values into the calculator, it's a good idea to make sure that your units cancel out. So I've got moles in the numerator, and here, in the gas constant, I have moles in the denominator. I have atmospheres in the numerator. And down here, I have atmospheres in the denominator. I have Kelvin in the numerator. And then in the gas constant, I have Kelvin in the denominator. So all of my units cancel except for liters. And I'm trying to solve for the volume, which is in liters. So it looks like we set this up right. So now plug these numbers into the calculator. And we get 1 times 0 0.082 times 273 divided by 1. And the volume equals 22.386 liters. So if we look at the problem, Actually, I wrote this down wrong. The problem says we have 1.00 moles. So that means that I should have three sig figs in my answer. One, two, three. I'll look here. The eight tells me to round up. So the final volume is 22.4 liters. So another trick here is to remember that when I have one mole of anything, one mole of any gas at STP always has V equals to 22.4 liters. So you can, we can do the math like we just did, and we plug in all the numbers. We plug in STP, we plug in one mole, we use the ideal gas constant, and when we solve for volume, we get 22.4 liters. Or we can just remember that any time I have one mole of a gas at STP, it's always at 22.4 liters.